Google um, uh, wolf pack order or something like that, you'll, you'll see that there is a really good image that's been shared a lot and it shows them sort of walking through a load of snow and it highlights which parts of the pack they are. The front ones are the oldest, uh, the weakest, if you like. Why is that? Because if they get attacked, they'll be the ones that are more dispensable, disposable, if you like. And then you've got the sort of strong fires now. Where's the, where's the alpha? You'd think he'd be at the front. No, he's at the back. Why is he at the back? One, because he's protecting the rear end, which is the youngest often, but two, he can see all of them in front of him. And I learned also that sometimes we think we need to lead from the front. One of my mentors used to say, Mike, go and climb a mountain, cross an ocean, run a, run a marathon. And when I did uh, 13, 14 clip around the world yacht race, you know, six, and, and that was because I told him I was scared of deep water because he'd say to me, what still scares you? What still scares you? Uh, and I said, well, I don't like being too much out of my depth. I'm a good swimmer, but you know, mile out is scary. And uh, so he said, all right, I want you to cross an ocean. What, what, what are you fucking kidding, Stuart? No, I want you to cross an ocean. Six weeks at sea away from my family, four miles uh, of depth in some places. Uh, you're a thousand miles from other boats at some, some days. If anything happens, you're dead. And every year, a couple of people die on, every other year they run it, uh, someone dies on the clipper. It's a dangerous race. And you're doing two hours on, two hours off, two hours on, two hours off. And, um, for, for six weeks, you're wet from about the third day and you stay wet, you sleep wet, you, you're just wet, you're dirty. I got MRSA for three months. After I got back, I was on all sorts of drugs and things. But when I was on it, what I realized was the skipper on a boat is right at the very back at the helm. He's not leading from the front. Why? Because if he was up front, he'd be able to see where we're going and that's amazing. He's kind of leading but he can't see anyone behind him. They could have all been washed overboard. He can't see the sails. He can't see which direction we're being blown in. He can't see the wind monitors. You know, I might have crossed an ocean, but I didn't know all the, all the time. He's at the back. From the helm, he can see literally everyone who's on that, that crew at the moment. So we'd have 10 on, 10 off, 10 off, 10 off. We never stop. Um, but he can see all 10 and he could see they were doing the right thing. He could see they were safe. He could see the sails. He could see the wind direction and he could make the best decision sometimes from being back. So you don't have to be frontline all the time.